Bonjour, so my name is Arden Lawson. I'm doing this Instagram takeover. You're just gonna follow me today. See the normal day of my life is here in the south of France. Um, the weather's like 72 degrees and cloudy, so it's not the best, but it's still the south of France, so. So I have to finish getting ready before I go to class, um, but just a little bit about me. I'm going to the University of Maryland I'm from Baltimore. Maryland. I've been in France for two, almost two months. I came during the Cannes Film Festival, got to watch a few premieres, walked the red carpet. It was really fun. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, my name is Carter. I'm from New York. Um, I'm 20 years old and I love Ken. I love the classes here. And Ken is absolutely beautiful and the people here are so kind. And I love the beaches. Bonjour. Bonjour. I'm Emily. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. And um, I just love it here in Ken. I love the architecture. I love the food. I just love experiencing a different culture. and enjoying life here. It's just a bit slower and it's nice. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, my name is Danit. I'm from Israel. Uh, what I love about Cannes is um, the atmosphere of uh, being in vacation and I like the style here. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, I'm James. I live in England, in Leeds, in the north of England. Um, what do I like about Cannes? I think everybody here is very nice. I love the beach. I love to go to go hiking, Teul. I think uh, it's beautiful here. Yeah, so. My name is Carter. And I'm Arden, you already know me. And we're gonna answer a few of your questions right now. You actually don't have to know French to start this program. There's a few people here right now who came in not knowing a lick of French and I'm actually in the A2 level, B1, um, and it goes all the way up to C2, C I believe. Know. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely don't have to learn it. It helps, but like, you'll not be the only person if you don't know any French. And they speak English here in the city, so you're fine. And you learn pretty quick, too. Absolutely. The classes here focus on French um, language and French culture. And in the French language courses you usually speak, go through grammar, new vocabulary, or even the history of wherever you are, Khan, Grenoble, wherever you may be. And you have to check with your school to see if they'll accept your uh, credits because three credits here may only be two credits at your school or it may be four credits at your school, it just depends. Yeah, and then for the internship, because there's different programs you can take, I know they had like a theater elective, but again, you have to check with your school to make sure that the credits transfer. over. Yeah, absolutely, like the south of France is really close to, well, Europe actually is really easy to travel compared to the US, so I've gone to Italy a few times. We're actually gonna go to Italy tomorrow. And then I went to Barcelona for Primavera Sound, so that was pretty easy, the flights were cheap. Um, we just take the train to Nice, which is like, the biggest city in the south, I think. Actually, no, it's not, but... Um, the closest it's airport. The closest, yeah, it's the closest airport to us. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, and um, I'm actually going to Italy next week weekend to florence the flights are pretty cheap and the buses are pretty easy to figure out especially if you get the local bus apps also uh it's pretty easy to take anything go anywhere by train here and it's always pretty especially along the water absolutely and actually i took the train from paris to here as well and it's pretty easy and just is yeah. transportation you'll find transportation here is really easy so much easier than the u.s so much yeah so living with the host family it's really been a good experience for me um because I get to practice a lot of the French and learn more so like the colloquial French terms that I wouldn't necessarily learn in the classroom, like the stuff they use in your day to day. Um, 
also got to have authentic French cuisine. And so, you know, never, never gonna turn that down. So yeah, it's been amazing for me. Um, I'm actually living with a single mom whose kids are about 37 and don't live in the house. So it's her and her dog, which is pretty fun. You can request if you, c you can say if you don't want a dog or if you're fine with a dog. She has a beautiful little garden and it's only eight minutes by bus to here and I go with Arden on the bus every time we go back from school so it's pretty nice and she's lovely and she doesn't speak any English so it's fun to practice my French with her. Yeah. Cannes is absolutely beautiful. Um, our school is actually right on the beach so for all of our breaks we head to the beach and um, there's little stands at all the beaches for like snacks and food here. All the restaurants are pretty or not all of the restaurants but most restaurants are pretty affordable just don't go a la croisette which is the most expensive street yeah. here but otherwise it's pretty easy to find affordable food and the shopping's wonderful and just there's so much life and action here um, especially during the film festival or even just after the film festival in the summer and throughout the year there's always congregations of different leaders and businesses and other things um here so it's pretty interesting you always meet some new people yeah absolutely that's everything you covered it yeah no so actually even before like you met some of the friends we made who are not from AIFS, AIF, so the school's like international so people from all over the country come here so like we have a friend the swiss the swiss that's from england that there was a girl from sweden mm -hmm. it's a girl from israel, israel. There was another guy from uh, Korea that was here earlier. So it's you just get to meet a lot of people from all around the world. Yeah, and there's actually three women in my class who are from Brazil, which is pretty cool. So it's oh, yeah. and the only way you can speak to them is if they don't know English is in French. So it's pretty exciting and you get to um, learn a lot about their culture. Yep. Yeah, so the festival was crazy. Um, the streets were full, the restaurants were full, the bus was full. You know, for me, it was really new because I just thought the festival was like the you know the red carpet and all the celebrities but there's actually a really big market of selling and buying movies there so um luckily i was able to be a part of that with the internship and so it was a really a great experience meeting with clients and distributors from all around the world italy japan china spain like it was a great experience um and with that i was also able to watch some of the premieres so um, and go on the red carpet. And i was on the red carpet a few times yeah that was that was amazing i saw naomi campbell so it was definitely I mean, I'll remember this for the rest of my life as a great experience. So I am actually doing Ken for the first month, or Ju June, and then I'm doing Paris for July. And I actually chose Ken to do it first because A, I love the beach and I wanted a little bit of sunshine in summer. And also when I'm in Paris, I'm doing the intensive program, which is three hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon, I believe. And here I can have the afternoon roaming around a beach town and it's just lovely. And I just think it's a little more relaxed before I get thrown into Paris. And for me, I was going to do the Paris program, but just thinking it through, um, you use English a little bit more in Paris. Like at Cannes, I feel like I've been in more situations where I have to use French and it's made me a much better speaker, more confident speaker. Also, I mean, the south of France in the summer is like such a beautiful place, the beach, mm -hmm. the food, the, the culture. And I got to come during the film festival. So I think, you know, it's just all those on top. Made a great choice. Yeah. I mean, also the south of France in the summer, like yes. you said, I mean, it's ridiculous. I have to keep pinching myself. <laughs> um, so there are some pros and cons, not necessarily cons, I don't think. Um, but one of the main things that I've learned here is the teaching style is a little bit different. I think that in the US or at least all the French classes that I've taken, when you're speaking, you finish a sentence and then your professor or teacher speaks back to you and is like, this is what you should fix in the sentence. Whereas here, when you're, spe when you're speaking, if you're like, je instead of je suis, they will just go up and then you have to fix yourself, um, which I actually enjoy because it helps me um, figure out my um, issue right when it happens instead of afterwards um and the pros are just the people are kind the transportation is amazing you're close to any country you want to go to and the food's amazing the people have here at school are wonderful and the people outside yeah so she basically said the pros i was thinking of um i'm not gonna say cons just things i have to adjust to where there's no um they don't like peanut butter here so that was that was new for me my host family had never had peanut butter before same with granola like that was they didn't know what that was so it's just little stuff like that like that make you oh wait i'm not in the u.s but beyond that i think um i mean i i'm really happy here i don't really think i could definitely see myself living here after yeah um, so we're moving here um now yeah um, so we're not actually coming this back is actually to our US. official goodbye to our parents yeah. just kidding
so I'm getting ready to go out for the night because nightlife is a really big part of the culture here in Cannes. But it was a lot of fun to share my experience just a day in my life. Today really wasn't super, super exciting compared to some of the days I've had. But I mean, I still had a lot of fun. You got to see like center, center ville is what they call it. It's like downtown, the shopping, the czar here is amazing. We had the ice cream with the AFS group. Um, and there we could only speak French. So it was really good to just practice our language skills and just speaking the language to each other. We didn't really spend a lot of time at the beach today. I did just pop by. Yeah, it was really fun. And if you have any questions, I put my Instagram right here. So please reach out and I'm more than happy to answer. And yeah, before I go, I'll just say a few things. So I definitely would encourage you to travel abroad for me. It's definitely been a life-changing experience. I've met a lot of cool people. Um, I've become pretty good at French. Um, I've been able to do a lot of cool things, you know, the film festival and just exploring this new city and exploring parts of Europe. And I don't think that if I had not just stepped out of my comfort zone and just embraced uncomfortability, that this would even have been possible. So definitely, even if it's not France, but just step out of your comfort zone and explore new things because you never know what you're running into and what opportunity might be hidden. Um, and then I'll leave you with a quote that um, I was talking to this French guy uh, a few days ago and he told me that um, you should travel because money comes back to you, but time doesn't. And yeah.